flying in strong winds can be really risky so I thought I'd share with you just a normal procedure that I use when flying in strong wind you really want to practice this in more mellow conditions and slowly build up your skill level to get into the strong stuff probably 90% of accidents are caused by trying to fly in conditions that are too strong so if you just exercise caution and limit yourself on the top wind speed that you fly in you can do a lot for your safety in the sport but hey let's assume the wind's strong on the launch that you're at and you want to get in the air let's check out how to do it So here we are on a windy site. I'm here on my own and I'm just going to show you a windy setup just to sort of control your glider and all the kit while you're setting up. There's a windy site. Birds are climbing from below me. The wind's coming straight in. I've got this very uh, inconvenient fence. It's just blocking the launch site so I can't actually get down to where it's easy to launch. So I'm going to be up here in the Venturi where the wind's the strongest. And I'm going to show you how I set up and manage everything in strong wind. I've actually got into my harness already. My glide is not even out of the bag yet. I'm in my harness. I do all my checks. Make sure the speed bar is running smoothly. It's pulling the brummels nasty there. Check the reserve pins. That's why I really like a front mount reserve. Check my leg straps, chest strap, chin strap. Carabine is locked. Malons, and we'll do the glider check as we get it out okay so I'm gonna get it out of the bag here I'm keeping myself down as close to the fence as I can and what I'll do that may be different to what you're used to is I never lay my glider out across the wind as if it's ready to launch okay that goes in the side pocket what I'm gonna do is lay out the glider this way side on or parallel with the wind at least okay so there's the wing there now even before I get going I'm getting my brakes off so that I've got some control should things run away from me okay now what I'm doing is I'm just opening out half of the glider so I've got a foot on the upwind wingtip the other wingtip I'm just going to keep low but I'm going to tease it out okay don't open out more than about half the wing otherwise you're going to find the wingtip there is going to start pulling that's exactly what I want just half the wing out I can tease out the lines get out the worst of the tangles I've got the rest of the wing here which is going to provide a little bit of resistance to the wind so it's not going to blow away while I move right now moving into position side onto the wing like that now depending on which way you like to turn you might want to spin at this point I prefer to be this way around doesn't really matter okay now I can check that I haven't got any twists my A riser is running back to the correct place on that side okay there's no reason why there should be any big twists if you follow a very neat pack away okay now the wing's going to start wanting to shift to the wind so i'm going to bring it around a little bit I'm using the brakes i'm just leaning back a little bit i'm letting it fill out i've got the brakes on nicely and i move around now you can see there's still i'm not completely around because that tip over there isn't filled up so come around a little bit more and I'm right up against the fence here and I'm just using the brakes here to just keep it on the ground not let it fly up okay and just be patient and it'll fill out you can see the tips almost gone out I'll come around a bit more there we go all right so this is my check I can now check all my lines now remember I haven't really done a daily 
equipment inspection in this situation so I haven't really looked all the way over the glide at the top so I'm giving it a good look just to make sure now you can see this glide is fighting me it's wanting to rise up if I pull too much on the brakes the trailing edge is going to start flying off the ground you see that it's going to become a nightmare to control so I've actually got to come off the brakes a little bit and I'm letting the wing fill up and fly itself down into the ground it's pinning itself down because the wind's blowing over it and I've got a bit of brake on but not too much okay now this is a common situation in strong wind conditions you get the wing out and now you feel like you're absolutely trapped you're stuck here I've got the brakes on I can't move okay and the wing's starting to pull me more and more if I lean back it just fights me more if I move towards it you'll see it takes some of the power out of the wing and there's a delicate balance here between going with the wing and getting dragged so then the next situation is I want to get the back risers in that'll give me more control but from here it's quite difficult the only way to do it easily is to wrap the brakes like that so I'm wrapping the brake so I wrap the brake on that side that allows me to come up closer to these back risers that I need to get hold of I want to get the back risers one on that side one on that side okay now you can see what I'm doing now I'm putting the back risers and now I can let the twists on my brakes the wraps I can get the wraps off because I've got the back risers okay I can hold back risers in one hand I can get the wraps back off right, that gets me into a better position where I can hold the back risers okay the glider really shouldn't fly with the back risers pulled in nicely it doesn't give you so much of that trailing edge flying up and if you want a little bit more pin see what I've done with my hands I've moved them that way on the back risers and now I can get up to the brake line on that side and the brake line on that side and now I've got back risers and brakes and that really you should be able to hold the wing with that combination okay if you can't you need to back away <laughs> okay now let's say you can't let's say this wing is pulling me and it's just getting out of control what I want to do is move around the wing so that it doesn't pull me okay so if I come around this side like that can you see the wind where well, the wing is now being blown across from the side so just a little bit of that you don't need too much just get it to be blown onto itself okay and now from here you've got to run so you're pinning it here like that I'm pinning it to stop it blowing up and I'm going to run across to the wing so let the wing fall down run across and sit down on this piece now as long as I'm a couple of meters in from the wing tip the rest of the wing can't pull me so from here I can actually pack the wing away fold it up roll it in put it back in its bag okay assume we wanted to to bunch from here I've got my foot on the wing I'm going to start gathering it in now it's going to start pulling there so I need to move downwind as I'm bunching it in I need to be moving this way okay keeping it low so I'm going to pick the wing up I want to make really sure that nothing's going to open up into the wind so I'm hooking a little bit of the glider there I'll keep it on the upwind side of me and now I can move wherever I want to I'm moving straight into wind okay and now we've got a lovely situation where the wing's upside down okay so what you want to do here is you just be patient and let the wing turn over what I did there was just use a little bit of brake on one side a little bit more than on the other side so now I'm going to go back to my back riser position one two I didn't need to wrap the brakes there because I had a lull and I can use the back risers just to tease this cravat tip out don't want that a little bit of air in the glider once there's a bit of air in the glider it makes it easier for the tip to come out okay now this this wing is particularly prone to doing these sort of cravats because it's so high aspect and because it's light 
So just take your time. If you're on your own, there's no real option apart from getting the air in the leading edge and pulling it back down again. It's slowly coming out. Need a little bit more. I'm going to come around and let the, the wind help me a bit. It's not so crossed. Yeah, it's almost there. There we go, almost there. A little bit through in the tip. Right, so now we're back in a nice position. I've got the back risers. When I get the brakes, it's not pulling me, so it's not so easy. Brake, brake, hands out, and there we go. We've got it nicely pinned. Flying up a little bit, so a little bit less brake. Not so much pull. Okay, so now the wing's there. And I've got the option to run around it and stop if I want to. If I'm going to stand here for a while and wait for the wind, I usually come off the wind slightly. Not enough that it's actually blowing in on the tip because then I get that cravat problem again. But it just gives you slightly less of that bounce and pull. Okay. So sitting there like that. Ah, it's blowing across, so I don't want that. Come back into the wind. Let this side fill up a little bit. And use that air to fill the wing out. See, that's the best way there. It's filling out without getting a cravat. I'm just walking across the wind and letting it fill up like that. There we go. A little bit more space there. So that I can get that piece open. Be careful of that little line over there. Okay, putting on the brakes, and now we've got that horrible big messy rollover. And that's because it rolled up so much when we packed the glider away or we went to move it. So I should have rolled that out when I got to the wing. We move the wing around this way, get the wind into that corner. There's half a chance we'll get this out. There we go. Okay, wings open. While I've got a chance, no, I need to wrap just to keep it pinned. Can I go back riser, back riser, get them together into one hand. Get rid of my wraps, back onto the back risers, pull them in, reverse my hands, pulling them in like that, finger, finger, and not too much, and I can just hold it there. Alright, so we're ready to launch, wait for a lull, let it come up, okay, off we go. pretty windy on the ground. So I'm going to run across to get to my control position. I'm going to get the back risers in before I'm even getting pulled. You can see I've got a big area that's potentially going to cravat there. Try and get that out if I can. Come on little wing. Just needs a bit of brake to flip that over. Like that. Okay. That's so quite nice. I've got the back risers again. I've got the brakes. I've got the controls. Just wait until it's not absolutely hammering through. And then I can pull up. From here it's going to pull up pretty hard. So I might want to go right across to the side and let it pull up to the side. It really just depends on the slope and the situation. But I'm pretty chilled out here. You know, the wind's howling. But as long as you've got the right balance of the back risers and the brakes, the glider's not going anywhere. Lean towards it, 
takes all the power out of it. If I lean back, it puts a lot of power into the wing. So that's really what I'm controlling it with. It's just the lean back and forwards. The more I go to the right, the more that side lifts up and it's going to want to shoot across. If I'm wanting to launch it skew on the wind, like a Cobra launch, I've got to go quite a lot around and let that that wing be the one that rises first. So I've got to come right around like this. It's quite difficult to do in strong wind. It needs a lot of practice to get this right. But I'll be about there, letting the wing come up. It's only slightly effective. I'm not going to get rid of trouble. And there we go. Decide it's good, off we go. Back into the pod. 